Okay, you guys, so I had got some new red bottoms. If y'all seen in my vlog, then y'all will know I got some new shoes. And it's time to protect these babies. Got a new dust bag. So now we have the shoes. The Dolly Me shoes. Okay. Okay, yeah. So we need, we're going to go ahead and learn how to protect these beautiful babies, these red bottoms. I am a big fan of red bottoms. And although I'm a fan, it can be quite easy to slip and fall in his amazing shoes so i know you're supposed to like walk around in them to wear them down but in this case i am not one of those so i am going to first take this off here the little sticker that goes on the back and now we are going to use these red no slip grip um these are like a no a non-slip resistant backing protector for the shoes i used to use a clear one but i don't want to use the clear one i actually prefer this one the clear one it kept peeling off a lot and also i just kept slipping even though it promoted itself as a no slip but um i'm just like no i prefer to just go ahead and use something better so i got these from amazon i will definitely put the link to them below in the description box so instead of me like trying to measure out the entire thing and tracing around the shoe i just go ahead and just peel off because you're going to end up using majority of this anyway so it's not like it can be that much reusable so we're going to take that and what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of put it place it in the middle like that now i always like to start from the inside and up and just take your time doing this because this helps prevent getting air bubbles always trying to start from the middle and work your way out and look how smooth that's being applied right now like i see a little tiny air bubble there you can just wiggle it out same here start from the middle work your way this outside okay you see work your way until you start seeing the shape right here coming along Oop, not too much there now for this one I kind of like stop it like right here because I don't need it to go all the way up there so basically basic is where it's thick okay that's good right there all right I'm making sure I got the entire shape I think that's good. All right, now we're gonna take some scissors. I'm gonna use just some regular scissors. Try to be very gentle with this process when it comes to cutting it. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna cut along the sides of the shoe. Not very close just yet, cause I just wanna get the initial shape out. And try to cut the scissors straight. Don't angle the scissors at all because it starts to affect the bottom of the shoe basically making it like the whole shoe I, I wish i could explain it to y'all i think i have some shoes i could share but basically whenever you try to cut with the scissors at an angle it starts to go towards the bottom and cut some of the bottom of the protection from the shoe off so we don't want to do that so just cut the scissors straight so we're just doing the first initial cut this is just to basically be able to get around, take your time with this one. You don't wanna like scuff your shoes, especially if they're white. Take your time and also we're gonna do the same cutting up here. All right, and now for the back, we're literally just gonna cut straight across, literally. You don't need to waste your time trying to make this part perfect. Voila! And this, like I said, is just excess. I told you you're gonna end up using most of the 
protector. Okay, put that to the side. Now, what we can do is you can either cut some more or you can just kind of, I like to probably cut a tiny, tiny bit more because this will start to lift a little bit over time and you don't want that. So I'm just gonna cut just a tiny bit more about this. I think this is about a full inch. It looks like an inch, it's a finger, a finger, about a finger's worth, or about almost half a finger. And just cut straight across. Voila. All right, and now we can just kind of smoothen the rest of that out, peel it a little bit if you need be to get these air bubbles. I just have one, so we can just work it out. Just push it down. And you're gonna hear that pop. That's how you know you're getting the air bubble out. I found this method much easier than trying to like trace the whole entire thing out and you're just sometimes when you place it place the like this part onto the shoe it can sometimes be uneven because you placed it wrong so I personally I just prefer to just slap it on there and then cut around it and then we're just going to trim just take our time trimming on the sides of the shoe to get it correct take like take your time on this part because this is a very important part so like i said don't angle it be gentle around this part take your time take your time and try your best not to cut the wood And I don't recommend using like super sharp scissors. You could probably use like fabric scissors as well. But like I said, take your time. Make sure these scissors are not angled. And you see that perfect cut there? But this is a prime example. Like I had angled it a tad bit on this side only because this part sticks out. But you can see how when I mean when you angle it, it starts to cut on this little edge part and you'll see some of it stick out. But that's nothing to worry about because that's not the part that actually gets most of the damage whenever you're walking. Do the same here, take our sweet time. No, do not angle at all. You can even sometimes lean the, um, the scissors into the shoe just a tiny bit, like towards the shoe, not into it, just slightly towards it to get into those corners. Alrighty, I think I got this side together. Just take your time, okay? Ready. Now for this size, a little tricky. Might have to do it this way. I typically like to do it like this, like through the side of the shoe. Okay, there we go, got it. Take y'all time, baby, take your time. Just be very gentle about it because you don't want to mark the shoe and remove the excess as you're going because it will definitely affect the way you cut your cut is. Okay. Doing the same up here. and all right so after you've done that part just make sure you press it out from the middle to the edge i still got that one air bubble it'll come out over time and look at that a perfect protection Make sure you squeeze those sides down now after you cut them to ensure that they're on there. 
take your time take your time take your time that is one down look at that one down one more to go once again the exact same thing middle yeah but like i was saying y'all this is so much easier in my personal opinion versus trying to do the tracing like i've tried the tracing method i've always used to mess it up and i just used to get annoyed so i just stopped wasting my time with that part okay make sure we squeeze out all the bubbles our main focus is making sure the middle part is on there currently and then we'll get to the rest of it all right i think that's good enough now same thing here you can just honestly cut this one ahead first if you want to and just a good straight across it's okay if it's not even the way this shoe is created it's never been even when it came down to the protection on the bottom that's about it that's exactly what I prefer whenever it comes to the part of my shoe when it's getting covered. It should be a little bit before the Louboutin logo. Okay, now time once again for the size. Remember, do not angle the scissors because angling the scissors is going to cause something you don't want. So first things first, we're just going to cut around like so just to get the initial shape and then we will trim the edges. Sorry, y'all, that's like the lawn people doing their job. Okay. Make sure you go ahead and remember to go around the edges of the shoe to ensure that everything is sticky. And voila, you have bon appetit. The shoes look nice, <laughs> but um, I still see the air bubble. Don't worry, it'll go out once I start walking around. But voila, it's never going to be perfect. If it is perfect, God bless you with your amazing talent work to be able to get it that perfect. But this is what it looks like, and very much holding on looking good now i do wish sometimes that the red was probably closer to the red on the shoe but i'm not complaining no one's looking at the very slat, the bottom of the shoe so yeah i'm probably gonna cut this down a tiny bit more let me see because this the adhesive has not fully sticked on there yet that's why i said you might want to wait um i've actually taken that sorry i've actually taken the adhesive off one of the shoes before with this adhesive and it did not rip the red paint i kid you not i just had you to just be really 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 slow with taking this adhesive off but other than that you guys this is it i'm gonna walk around for about a minute in the shoes to make sure all the adhesive sticks and get this air bubble out and voila other than that i hope you enjoyed my video please make sure you like comment and subscribe